<laughs> I just figured out what your last name means. Phil Ups. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's why my Twitter is Lauren Phil's Up. That's Which means you like the cream pies. I do. Uh, let's talk about professionalism and porn because you were early today. I was, and I actually thought I was going to be late because it's like um, it's all rainy outside right now. Which is why we hear a fire truck or yeah. ambulance. And there was actually two accidents uh -huh. um, on my way. So I actually um, woke up at six o'clock this morning, mm -hmm. and I had put the address in already to see how far it was going to be and mm -hmm. how traffic was. Um, so uh, usually when I have a distance like this, mm -hmm. um, uh, I test out the maps a couple of times actually mm -hmm. to see how far it's going to be without traffic and then how far it is with traffic. So you're a professional. You're, yes. you're a true pro. So I left at like probably close to a little, a little past eight. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing this now four years. Yeah, the, reason, the reason I bring that up is because in four years I'm sure you've worked with other girls or other male talent probably. Mm -hmm that either show up late, just unprofessional. It's like, oh my God, how is today gonna go? How, how do you deal with that? Um, well, I was always taught, cause I, I have a dancer's background. Mm -hmm. So a professional dancer for five years, I have a degree in dance that like, you shouldn't let that uh, influence the scene because I feel like uh, a scene is just like if I'm going out for a performance, mm -hmm. right? Um, I was always taught you leave your shit at the door. Right. So even if this person is like annoying <laughs> right. and uh, extremely disrespectful, um, the scene is what means the most to me in mm -hmm. the company. So mm -hmm. if the I feel like if I just you know what, let's get through this. Let's try to not hold on to the negative and just stay positive. Mm -hmm. The company will realize that as well, and uh, may fans get a really good scene. That's true. It's win win. How do you deal with a guy who can't get wood on set? <clears throat> well, I've actually had that happen a couple times. <laughs> okay. And I, I am in, like, very sympathetic about it. It's really hard to control your body. Like, there's times I can't control my body. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's like, it, it is what it is. You know, we're not robots, we're not dolls, we are human. And I try to, I'm very sympathetic, and I, I try to help if there's anything that they like. Um, I, I help them with that. Sometimes they get overheated if they take, take a shower and stuff like that. Like anything they try to get them through. Um, I've had a couple scenes that needed a stunt dick. So sometimes it just happens. You know, you can't hold on to it. Yeah, you can't hold on. You ready to do this for dog part? I am. All right. Thank you so much.